Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to run for a number of questions that you can see here. So I've got two questions on capacitive reactants and gain and cutoff frequency on the lecture that was based on RC circuit with AC power supply, so alternating current power supply. So you can see here the RC circuit resistor capacitor in series with the alternating um, current power supply. So question one, capacitive reactants. So if you want to look at the background to this tutorial question, see section 5.3 on capacitive reactants in lecture five on RC circuit with AC power supply. You will maybe need to look at some of the earlier sections as well. So in this question, what is the capacitive reactance of the arrangement given below? So here you can see we've got a resistor, we've got a capacitor in series, um, we've got nine volts, and the alternating current is at 60 hertz and then v out here if we want to measure the voltage out so using equation 5 5 from the lecture so this capital x subscript um, c for the capacitive reactance is equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by f which is the frequency in this case 60 hertz multiplied c which is the capacitance so in this case it's 1 over 2 pi um, 60 because we know it's 60 hertz and then the capacitance is 2000 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 6, because this here is micro. So if we determine that, uh, what that will work that out, the answer is 1.33 ohms. So capacitive reactance of this particular resistor capacitor circuit with an AC power supply is 1.33 ohms. So in question two, we're going to look at determining the gain and the cutoff frequency. So again, look at lecture five if you if you need to look at any kind of the background to some of this question. So what we're going to do is design a low pass filter with a cutoff frequency of approximately 50 kilohertz using standard components. What you must show is the calculation you used, the circuit layout, and the value of the components used on that circuit layout. So if you use equation five one from the lecture, it's given by this, the cutoff frequency which in our case is 15 uh, kilohertz, so 15 times 10 to the 3, is equal to 2 pi RC, where we obviously want to determine resistor and capacitor values to give us effectively this cutoff frequency of 15 times 10 to the 3. So rearrange the above to make RC the subject. So RC is equal to 1 over 2 pi multiplied by 15 times 10 to the 3. What I've done is I've selected, so I had a look at the um, some of the standard values for capacitors and I determined that 100 nanofarad is a standard component and that's going to give me, well, a good starting point. So nano, 10 to the power of minus 9. Therefore, rearranging this above equation to effectively make the resistor the capacitor because I want to determine now, based on that capacitor value, a resistor value based on those values. So resistor is equal to, you can see that equation there, we've just effectively just divided both sides by C, so the capacitance, and then I've substituted in the value that I've selected for the capacitance, so 100 times 10 to the power minus nine, work that out, and you get 106 ohms. So I need a resistor value of around 106 ohms. So if I look at the E24 resistor range, the closest value I get is 110 ohms. So you can see here 110 ohms here. So what I've done is I've selected that value of 110 ohms for the resistor. I've got a capacitor value of 100 nanofarad. You can see there. And this effectively here is my designed low pass filter. And what I can do is if I take those values and substitute those into this original equation here, what that'll do is give me a cutoff frequency of 15.0 kilohertz, which is pretty much very, very close to obviously the desired value, which is originally, well, I was looking for approximately 15 kilohertz. And then you can see the configuration here. So I've got my resistor value here, which was actually a value 110 was selected. And my capacitor value here of 100 nano um, farad. So there you can see my configuration. So that there is obviously question two completed. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.